All right, today was just plain old disrespectful. 90 <laughs> degrees the high. The old record was 86. That was sent back, uh, set back in the 80s. And 90 also represents the hottest on record for the entire month of November, which had previously been 88 degrees. So way too hot. And tomorrow could be very similar. The setup is the same upper high and a lot of sunshine. Pretty sunset now an hour earlier, which I don't care for. 81 is our current temperature with high humidity. 70 degree dew point winds out of the east right now at eight miles an hour. Still in the 80s, some upper 70s, so a fairly warm evening. If you're going to be going out for another couple of hours of tailgating and heading home, may start to see some of that fog developing because again, as the temperatures start getting closer to the dew points with the setting sun, we will start to see the humidity increase and lately that has led to the development of fog and that may be again the case. Winds light but out of the east we will keep that wind direction tomorrow, but then some changes are on the way starting on Wednesday. We've had a few clouds as well kind of passing through almost an easterly flow and with it even a few isolated showers and thunderstorms a little bit more so in southern Mississippi, but we've had a few pockets developing across uh, North Shore around a meet a little downpour here and there. Most part those have been more Mississippi onto the North Shore kind of continuing through the Florida parishes and that has been about it for rainfall. If you haven't been uh, watching social media lately, you didn't know that we now have another name storm. It is subtropical storm Nicole subtropical meaning doesn't have purely tropical characteristics. In other words, it gains its energy differently as well as it just has a different structure. This is actually more in association with an upper level low. So at the moment, not really what you would call a well defined tropical system, kind of an elongated circulation here. Thunderstorms all over the place and even the Hurricane Center is saying the strongest winds are not near the center. Now it's possible that this will become a little bit better organized in the coming days and the forecast does call for it to become a hurricane before reaching the east coast of Florida. Florida continuing across Florida, possibly trying to make its way into the eastern Gulf before getting turned and pushed away. This is not going to be a threat for us at all. What's interesting about this storm, though, is that the wind field is massive. That's another uh, common characteristic with these subtropical systems and we'll start to see some of those tropical storm force winds approaching the uh, coast of Florida probably Wednesday early morning, maybe late Tuesday, but certainly into early Wednesday. And then with this wind field, we're going to have tropical storm force winds almost from Savannah, Georgia, all the way down to Miami. This thing is going to be big in terms of the winds and of course the rainfall, although rain is going to be kind of all over the place unless this does try and get a bit better organized. We are not going to see any of those type of winds. In fact, the upper pattern is going to favor this staying away from us and we're actually going to benefit from the call. I'll explain that in a moment. Upper high starts to break down toward the middle to end of the week. Here comes a storm, but here comes this deep upper trough that is going to bring us a big cool down toward the end of the week and this coming weekend. Here's the moisture with Nicole. What Nicole is actually going to do as it gets closer, it's going to send some drier air our way by Wednesday, knocking high temperatures down into the 70s. And and then a little bit milder with the temperatures getting closer to average, but also drier air. So by Wednesday into Friday, we'll have a bit more of a pleasant feel. Then as we approach the end of the week, here comes this strong cold front again. It is going to be blocking the cold, but what it's also going to help to do is bring down some very cold temperatures for the weekend going into most of next week and our temperature outlook going well into next week. Almost the entirety of the nation is expected to see high temperatures staying below average. So this evening and tonight, very mild. We cut all, I'll call it even uh, warm with some fog developing late. And then over the next couple of days or over the day tomorrow, I should say, we'll stay very warm, humid. Then we turn a little less humid, a little milder toward Friday. And then that cold front moves on through and looks like it's going to be chilly as we head into Sunday and early next week.